Hi there, right, I'm Hobgoblin. This is just a quick tutorial video. Um, it's about taking textures from maps in Giant Editor. Um, I have here a, a little mud plane which I'm going to use on some of my maps where I, done, I added some trails and then I'm going to make them a bit muddy in places. Uh, so these are what I'm going to use. And um, first thing, I'm just going to click on it, uh, highlights it. It's a very simple thing, it's just a square. You see, obviously, the part of it. And all I'm going to do now, we've, we've got it, it's there. So uh, I'm going to call it a mud plane. I think mean, that's all it is. Um, apparently, they've called it a shlam. But uh, I go to File, Export Selection with Files. Um, now I have a uh, folder map stuff, um, and in here is all the different things that I have. I right click here, create a new folder. And as I said, it's a mud plane, so I'm just going to call it mud plane. Uh, I'll call the folder mud plane. Um, by calling the folder mud plane, I, I now know what's in there. And I'm going to call the file mud plane. It, it's simplicity, basically, the file is the same name as the thing, it doesn't have to be, but that's the easiest way if the file name and the folder name are the same, because you'll know from the folder name what's in it. Um, and, and there it is, that's all you need to do, you just press save now, and you have the texture. So, highlight it, um, you can use um, shift left click if there is more than one item involved. Um, there's nothing to stop me uh, copying this, putting two next to each other and saving that whole thing as one piece um, and they would both go in together as one thing um, but in this case it's just the one, but like I said, you highlight it you press file, export selection with files make a folder, go into the folder give it a name and save it Alright. Leave that with you. Bye for now.